Hey guys, it is Tech Geek HD here again with another video. And today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about iOS 5.1. Now as you guys may know, iOS 5.1 came out a couple of days ago uh, and with the public release of the iPad or the new iPad as Apple would like to call it. Uh, now, at least for my iPhone 3GS here, there aren't really that many new features. Um, really the main feature that I've noticed um, on iOS 5.1 um, is the camera button on the lock screen and um, a little bit to do with Safari and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Now if you guys are on an iPad 2 or the new iPad which is going to come default with iOS 5.1 you guys will notice a new camera button placement and a couple of things like that which I may get into in a later video uh, if you guys request it but for now let me just show you guys what you can do on the 3GS now I think these changes are pretty much the exact same for the iPhone 4 or 4S but if I am wrong please do feel free to correct me in the comment section below anyway as I was talking about the lock screen you guys can see right here that the slide to unlock knob has actually become a little bit smaller now besides for that you guys can also see the camera button is always on the lock screen you don't have to double tap your home button um, like you had to in iOS 5.1 um, so if you tap it it doesn't actually open the camera application and you can see that it gives you this little animation here which kind of forces you or lets you guys know that if you slide up that's what's going to open up the camera application there you guys can see a little pig thing that I have on the ground looks kind of cool um, but if you exit out of it it's going to take you back into uh, if you guys have like a lock device you have a passcode or a device it takes you back to your lock screen but if not then it takes you straight to your home screen uh, now another new feature uh, is that if you open up Safari it goes straight to um, a new, uh, it goes straight to a blank Safari page. Uh, let me just show you guys that. Let me close out Safari out of my multitasking bar. So in iOS 5.0.1 and below, you guys may have noticed that um, when you opened up Safari, it would take you um, to the bookmarks uh, folder thingy. But over here, it just takes you to a blank page. Now let me just demonstrate what I just told you guys about on my iPod Touch. So my iPod Touch is still on 5.0.1 because I do like to keep it jailbroken. It is my only jailbroken device at the moment. Now if you open up Safari, you guys will notice it takes you either to your history or your bookmarks or basically this thing that you have here. So um, that is a cool new feature. It's something that would save you guys a little bit of time and I kind of appreciate that Apple did that. Now besides for this, um, as I showed you guys, the little slide to unlock nub has become smaller. Um, and just for comparison's sake, I'm going to show you both of them here. And the one on the iPod Touch is notably bigger. Not too much, but uh, you guys can still notice that it is bigger. Now the final thing that I've personally noticed, and I will keep you guys updated if there are uh, any other changes, that if you guys go into settings and um, down here into wallpaper, you will notice a couple new wallpapers. Now, on the iPad and the iPhone 4S, I believe, but I think it's probably not just the iPad, has a couple of awesome new wallpapers, um, which I do like quite a bit, but the ones on the iPhone uh, are not half bad. One of them include this um, partially green wallpaper. Looks kind of nice. Um, then we also have this one right here. And this one right here. And we also have a couple of new flowers. This is a, I think this is a different one here. So, but that pretty much covers um, what I found in iOS 5.1 so far. Now, if you guys are jailbreakers, um, or if you guys are relying on an unlock, I would, uh, you know, kind of advise you guys to stay away from iOS 5.1 until an unlock at least is released for it. Now. There is a semi-tethered jailbreak situation available for it right now, but I really wouldn't um, advise you guys to go ahead and try that out because there is a risk of you guys, you know, tethering up your device permanently and not being able to downgrade. Though, if you guys do want to have that done and if you want to keep it unlocked, there is a way to preserve your baseband and upgrade, but I probably won't be making a video on that since my iPhone 3GS is a factory unlocked phone. Though, there are a couple of videos available on YouTube at the moment which shows you guys how to do that. Anyway guys, this was Tech Geek HD here again with my coverage on iOS 5.1 so far. If you guys would like to request an iPad version of this video, do leave it in the comment section below and I will be sure to post another video or post some more information in the description. Again guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.